friends, it's me. And today we're checking out people who got very lucky with food. They cracked open an egg. <laughs> oh my gosh. But we're gonna need a tool for this. How many yolks y'all got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Ten mini yolks in one egg? How does this happen? Chicken got ten baby daddies? That's legal. Oh, that is one big sweet potato. It's a whole entire newborn child. You know how they be like baby popped out at like 18 ounces? Like it's a bottle of water. This sweet potato came in at three pounds and four ounces. Now bake it. My raisin brand had one gigantic flake in it. You sure that's not a piece of cardboard? I mean, it's not like I could tell the difference. Boomers rejoicing around the world. You've unlocked the super rare raisin brand flake. Raisin brand, they should call it raisin bland. You know we got a problem if the only thing giving your cereal flavor is a raisin. Ooh, that is one big lemon. My mom actually got me, oh wait, I still have it. Wait, I think this is the one. It's a pretty big lemon, but that one's much larger than my large lemon. No, I swear I had one bigger than this. My mom has the lemon tree and gets me all of the lemons. Ah, uh, that carrot is huge, five pounds. One carrot is five pounds. That's insane, illegal. Make a lot of baby carrots out of that one. You cut open a watermelon, you got a jackpot when it looks like this. Oh, that's how you know it's juicy, it's sweet, it's good. But how do you tell if a watermelon is gonna be good? My parents always go to the grocery store, start slapping it like a used car salesman. Boom, that's a good Malone. So you wanna look for the patches. If it's got a white patch, it's no good. So the more yellow the patch on it, the sweeter the watermelon. So you wanna look for some that are a little ugly on the outside. So they'd be perfect on the inside. Here's a guy. An oval watermelon is a male. It'll be watery. The female is round and it's sweeter. White spot, tasteless. Orange spot, delicious. Now you are a watermelon expert. Go share this information with the boomers in your life. They will be very impressed. You got a brand new jar of peanut butter. Take that first scoop. Those nuts are smoother than I'll ever be. It's so perfect. Can't wait to ruin it in my intestines. Oh wait, he had another perfect Malone. Oh, when you take that first triangle bite, oh, that's the best bite. It took a bite out of a grape, and inside it is another mini grape. Oh, so this is how grapes are born. The grape was pregnant. She was carrying her unborn child, and you took a bite out of both of them, and it was delicious. He went to KFC, I recognize those wedges anywhere. He went to KFC and got a wedge. That's like the size of the chip box. Okay, now that's a real big potato. These were the wedges that my dad was obsessed with and we get them all the time from KFC. And then when we get home, he would call them and be like, the fries are cold. Okay. I feel like I've told this story a million times and I'm gonna tell it a million more times until the employees see this video. <laughs> this is like a big fat jackpot. Getting a giant frosted mini wheat. Oh wait, that ain't even a mini wheat anymore. It's just a frosted wheat. It's like four of them combined and it's extra frosted. You know, before I was gluten free, this was like one of my favorite cereals. Okay, but you're gonna roast Raisin Bran and eat frosted wheats? <gasps> More uncut cereal. They got a Cheerio tube. Oh, you can use it as a straw. Just take it, slurp up the milk. This would actually be very nice if they let some of these Cheerio noodles slip through the machine every so often. This would be more exciting than getting a cereal prize. Oh, those are big blueberries. Bigger than a quarter. Oh, blueberries is one of those fruits. It's like the bigger, the better. They just taste better. The scrawny little shriveled up ones, ugh. They're like sour. Okay, I'll trade you a quarter for those blueberries. <gasps> Y'all thought those blueberries were big. That's like half the size of an apple. This berry wins. That's the biggest berry I ever done seen. No, that's not the biggest blueberry. This is the biggest blueberry. The factory snuck two extra cookies in this pack of cookies. Oh, so if you want to diet and you eat those, it doesn't count. They were extra. A blessing. Mana from the heavens. So while we're in quarantine, people have been finding a lot of like weird fruits and veggies. Someone found this conjoined strawberry. It's like it was supposed to be two strawberries and they never separated at birth. And then you got all this excess berry. Two and a half berries for the price of one. Nice. Oh, and there was little flowers growing out of this strawberry. The seeds have sprouted. 
They were making fries and pulled out this monstrosity. You know how they call shoestring fries? But this one's actually the length of a shoestring. Did it just come from a very long potato? Not that bad boy would have to be like this big. Or maybe they like spiral cut the potato. I don't know. It's very long. Can't wrap my brain around it. But I most certainly can wrap this fry around my brain. I have never seen an ice cream cone so perfect, especially soft serve. People mess you when they do it, especially McDonald's. Got that nice two-tone. The curls got some nice even thickness. Nice little coat hanger on top. 10 out of 10. Would devour. Opens up a fresh bag of pretzels. Okay, I'm only gonna eat one. Pulls out this monstrosity. 30 pretzels mooshed into one. Some don't even look toasted. This is a dough mess. It's like they have to stop the pretzel production line and all of them just like, boom, mooshed into one. Dip that bad boy into some nacho cheese. Mmm. Bro, this is the longest pear I've ever seen in my life. This ain't a pear, this is a zucchini. <laughs> You know how pears are so big and round at the bottom and then they get skinny? This is when the weight is evenly distributed, what they should actually look like. <gasps> oh, I thought they just took a regular avocado, pulled it in Photoshop. No! So they have long avocados. I did not know this. That's illegal. Avocado toast, you can make an avocado baguette with this bad boy. Oh man. I can't believe this is a real thing. I didn't know about this. Longocado. Avalongado. If you guys know me, you know I am obsessed with grapes. And then they got a, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sep the grape all in one. They didn't even separate. You were telling me this was hanging from the vine like this. It's like a star fruit, but a grape. My dad cut open one of the very first tomatoes from his garden and found a strawberry growing inside it. Ugh. Wait, how do a fruit and a veggie just. Wait, no, tomatoes are fruit. Okay, but why I look like Kylie Jenner's lips? They opened the cutie and inside it there's a mini cutie. Oh, it's a child. Just chilling inside mommy again. We got more pregnant fruit. I don't know how nature do that. People be like, GMO. It's unnatural. I don't know how they managed to scoop up the most perfect scoop of ice cream. Y'all scoop it with a bowl? I know that spoon didn't do that. So I get the texture, but how did you make it so round? I don't even see any melted ice cream juice in the bowl. What's going on here? Is this even ice cream? I need answers. My girlfriend found this in her Skittles today. It is a ball of mini Skittles. What? Do they start out as baby Skittles? And then somehow they just blow them up, fill them up with the inside? Why are there so many little ones? It's a Skittles baby ball. All the unloved Skittles children just lumped, rounded up into one ball. All the flavors combined. Oh, long marshmallow. Long marshmallow rope. You can take it and then tie it around your wrist and have like a marshmallow bracelet or choke somebody with it. <laughs> they open up the drumstick ice cream. You already know the best part is the chocolate filled cone. And they gave him another one. There's two in it. Okay, but what happened to the rest of that ice cream? Does my soulmate have the other piece? Did somebody take a bite and then slip it right in? What monster would leave the best part? You know what? We really shouldn't complain and just eat it. Wow, that's a long drumstick. It came from a chicken with some long legs. If Slenderman was a chicken, his drumstick would look like this. I like how they put a banana for comparison. Like, do y'all see this? Compared to the length and girth of an adult banana. That's how big this chicken leg is. They cracked open an egg and it's perfect. It's so round. Good yolk to whites ratio. 10 out of 10. Good egg. That is a big egg. Y'all got a turkey running around with those chickens? That oh, one must have been a hard one to pop out. <laughs> that chicken was like, <laughs> struggling all day to get it out. It cracked a little in the process. <laughs> they poured their Chex cereal and got a Chex cracker. Nine Chex failed the separation process. I would send this back to them like, what is this? I'm gonna have to bust out the fork and knife for this one. <laughs> that is what. I forgot what it was called for a hot second. Look how regular asparagus and then a long asparagus and then you got the big mama juicy one. Just kidding, they ain't even juicy. I just need the tops off of them. I don't like the stem. I rate this vegetable a six out of 10. Big onion. Here is my dog's head for comparison. Can't imagine cutting this. Don't make me cry a river. Big onion means big tears. If my dark chocolate hazelnut bar doesn't look like this, I don't want it. So some people say that this is luck when every single bite has a whole entire hazelnut in it. But one brand, I think it's called Ritz, they come in like the squares. Every single bar is like this. You get a hazelnut for every square. 
Whoa, kiwis aren't supposed to be built like that. That's not allowed. The forbidden long kiwi. How is it long? They're supposed to be round. How is it built like that? Stop giving me that look. Whoa, wait, can I show these cherries? Man, forget the peach emoji. It should have just been a double cherry emoji. Your cherries be looking thick. This jalapeno wants to let you know that it loves you. Now, I might be spicy, but I want you to know I have a heart, literally. So don't eat me. Or do they want to get eaten? You know, I always felt bad for food with faces on them because I never wanted to eat them because, I don't know, maybe they had feelings. But isn't that the goal of food? To get eaten? Like, otherwise, we're going to throw you away. Which do you prefer? Mm. Bunion tube. They forgot to hit the cut button and separate all of them into rings. And then fry this entire tube cylinder. A Funyun cylinder. That's pretty nice. 10 out of 10. Crunchy AF. Oh, apparently this is a common problem with Funyuns. Where they forgot to turn their slicer on. And then you get a long Funyun. You get a long yun. <gasps> that is a long banana. Long banana. Whoa. This would be dangerous to fall in the hands of the wrong person. Today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed these big foods. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.